I'm on the banks of Flint Creek in Northeast Oklahoma at the location of Ferncrest Flint Creek. <laughs> it's an amazing property that is giving a lot of honor to this land and to the beauty that is here already. And I want to introduce you to Chris and Sean Delano and have them give you a tour of their property. We're here on Flint Creek. It is one of the uh, few scenic waterways that are under protection to make sure that it's here for future generations. And Chris and I, you know, had the opportunity to buy this land and create something really special that we can share with everybody. Yeah, and we'd love to show you guys around. Hmm. <laughs> Where should we start? So first off, we have the main body of water here, which is Flint Creek. My father's been taking me here since I was a kid. I have memories all, going all the way back to sixth grade with my friends. I've always loved this creek. It's a spring-fed creek. This creek has otters. It's got turtles, smallmouth bass, perch. I don't want to keep yapping, but I can just keep listing stuff. Uh, we've seen a bald eagle land on our bank. We've got a variety of, of land-bound critters as well. We've got on, on the true. shore, we've got groundhogs, we've got armadillos, we've got opossums, we've got, right? <laughs> we've got skinks, we've got lizards, we got, what do you want? We've created a common space down here right next to the waterway. And up above, you'll see where our domes are on a bluff that uh, you can't buy, you can't recreate it. It's something that's that's naturally existed here for thousands of years and, and we're just excited to share it with you. How about we go look at the domes, Chris? You know, there's parts of it that are natural. It is spring fit. So it starts in Arkansas uh, at a natural spring and flows down entering the Illinois River, where this body of water lands. Channel, what yeah, so we call it the back channel. Um, maybe a slough. It, maybe a slough, uh, maybe a finger of the creek, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is where a lot of the life of the creek tends to reside. There's a little bit of less flow. Uh, more opportunities for the perch and crawfish and all these other things to kind of raise their little families. And this bridge that we're on right now is something my father and I built together to help people enjoy this awesome ridge and park. We built this bridge with local timber that was all harvested within two miles from here and a sawmill that's a mile and a half down the road. So keeping it local in a real way. W. No, I think in the center. I think we'll do. We'll do in the center, grass on both sides. As you can see, this dirt has been uh, Pretty recently worked. We've put a lot of work into this land to help while maintaining its natural beauty, kind of shape it into something that's more usable for your average uh, kid or elderly loved one or whomever. As you can see, we've built a couple of decks and we are currently in progress on our very first tent going up, which is very exciting. On the smaller decks you see here, we're gonna have 16 foot domes with king size beds in them. And each spot is gonna have its own place to, to hang out. Like if you see where the deck's gonna go here, the dome will go on top. And then if you look down and walk down, there's going to be a great area with a fire pit, hot tub, and uh, all the things you'd like to enjoy when you're camping. All the things you didn't know you could enjoy when you were camping. Come on in, gentlemen. And I can't understate this, guys. This space is huge. Absolutely massive. I'm 6'2". Yeah. With a 6'6 six, six wingspan. And uh, that's as close as I can get to the ceiling. This is our family dome, so it's going to have a king-size bed and two sets of bunk beds on it. So you can bring six people, get the whole family in here. Enjoy the creek and, and enjoy an amazing time. This view is, in my opinion, the best, best view in the park. We spent a lot of time curating uh, exactly where we want this deck to be so that people can enjoy the best framing we nature has to offer right here. As we sort of work our way over to the north end of the park, you're starting to see a little bit more how the sausage is made, some of these materials still out and about. But what we have here is our prefabricated bathhouse. It's ready to go. We can't quite show you the inside yet because it's not quite in fighting shape. We're quite excited about it. It's three private bathrooms with a shower, of course. This Two is our location for domes four and five. You can see if you get distracted by one of the beautiful wood fire hot tubs, it'll be going in at every site. Dang, is that stainless steel? <laughs> Ooh. This is gonna be a fun area for us. So what we're gonna do here is have a hammock village. We're gonna go from tree to tree and string all the way through here with, uh, with a variety of different hammocks. So, Again, total relaxation, listening to the waterfall, watching the, the wildlife, and just uh, enjoying nature. This is the deck where our wood fire sauna is going to go. It's going to be amazing. Right now, we're just using it to hang out, though. It's not too bad either. You know, if someone asked me why Brian is sitting here on my piece of property in northeast Oklahoma, it was because I saw something in them. When I saw 
he and Joanna and what they were doing up in Pennsylvania, it made me excited because I could see a journey. I went through a similar journey in life and in business, and I saw something in him that excited me to say, hey, those are guys that I can partner with. Those are people I want to lock in with and, and do life together. And that's what this property is about for us. It's about it's about friendship. It's about camaraderie. It's about making a path that we can we get to choose. And Brian and Joanna choosing to take that path just encouraged me in a way that we were already in, involved in a project here. We had already purchased the land, but their social media presence and after watching them and, and connecting with them, I realized that they were they were people we wanted to connect with, that we wanted to be part of the Ferncrest family. What makes uh, my dad and I a special team and able to work together in a way that a lot of uh, other father and sons really couldn't is our ability to trust each other. I think we have that to a degree that most fathers and sons don't have. Our ability to suppress our ego, it's never a competition between the two of us. Yeah. We're playing to win and we're always on the same team. I think that that's a huge element of why we, we see the success we do. I think it's a, it's a learning curve always when you get in into situations that yeah, to lay your ego down and to watch my son thrive is probably one of my greatest joys. So to have a chance to work with him, put him in positions to succeed, and I get to go along for the ride, it's pretty exciting for me. Flint Creek has always been a place of harmony and a place of togetherness. What I see for the park and what started kind of the heart behind why we wanted to do this, aside from being a father and son and wanting to build something together, is we want other people to be able to start building a relationship with their families and their friends. We want this place to be a place of peace and of reconciliation and of joy and calmness. I see a world where we put in the work to do that and let nature be the star. That's our hope, that everyone that comes out here finds something they didn't recognize in themselves, finds something they didn't recognize in nature. So when you get out here and you hear the water flowing and you hear the birds singing, there's a lot of joy that can be found here. And hopefully uh, when you come out, you discover that for yourself. Whenever I was younger, I would have never seen myself doing something like this. As particularly on the front end, it's the conditions can be tough, you know, working outside with the bugs and sometimes in the mud and the conditions and, and whatever. And I, I never saw myself doing that whenever I was younger. But younger me didn't understand the beauty and the appreciation of nature. A flock of geese, some, some little goslings grow up. He didn't get to experience that joy. He didn't know the satisfaction of working hard and looking back and seeing a great contribution to something something meaningful and something valuable to other people and to myself and to nature. We appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, go on tour with us. We look forward to seeing you guys at Ferncrest Flint Creek. I think huh? that's a good one. Work? I think they'll like it. I don't know. They'll like it.